What's going on guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. Today marks a special day. Today I'm doing another SD tip tricks and spots on the map breach. Now it's been a while since I've done one of these, almost a week, so let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start off with some sniping spots like we usually do. Now on this map, it's not that relevant to snipe. Sniping is not the best thing. If you do snipe, it's just to hold down like a certain bomb area or middle, but there's not much to it, you know. So right here we're gonna start off with this spot. You jump on top of this ledge, you can see the top greenhouse rush. A guy usually goes up there. If anything, you can just push out to the door and pre-aim the guy. He's going to try to jump up and snipe you and just pick up the kill. Another good thing is to jump on top of these porta potties right here. And you can jump up and snipe top greenhouse. This spot is really good when it comes to taking out that guy up top. Because that guy could be a big nuisance. And then let's say you don't see anybody. You can wall run back here. You can wall run on this wall. Wall run middle. Ba ba ba. Spot anyone? Nope. Wall run back. It's a very good tactic to use to get information. Because with thermal, you usually can spot someone. Especially middle map. Now when it comes to top AC, pushing here is probably your best bet. Because you can get in a good head. Just snipe that guy. Usually a guy will come over here. You can try and kill that guy. The only issue is if someone jumps on top of this. Top beat on hard point and then gets on the head glitch. And he has like an AR. There's a huge chance you're going to die unless you have an AR. So what I like to do sometimes, especially if you think somebody's going to rush that or even rush top AC with overdrive, is I back up a little bit. I come here to the left and I literally sit here and wait. And wait for that guy to come up top and try to snipe that guy. Another good spot is right here. You go back on the side of the spawn. You jump up and try to snipe the guy top broken. People are not expect this more, but it's a little different than going top AC or something like that. It kind of catches people off guard. Also, quick little tip before we go to the other side. If you get in Palace and a guy's at the head glitch of Broken, that is the Broken head glitch. If he's peeking in Palace trying to see watch cross or something, you can actually snipe that guy. Now, on defense, the best place to ever snipe is top greenhouse just because B is such a high area sniping area, I guess you can say. If you go top greenhouse, you can watch the doorway from here. You can jump up, watch the left side itself, or you can just simply go to the right watch the left side. And then usually the guy up top is going to try to snipe you. You're going to get position to snipe that guy. And like I said earlier, you can snipe the guy at the door. And you can do the wall run like I was saying. Let's say you don't see nothing B. You can wall run on this wall. Then wall run on this wall. Kind of the same concept the one I was doing on offense peak middle. Maybe snipe a guy middle. Don't see anything. Go back up again. See if there's anything on A. Snipe that guy. Then go back to B. You can wall run back. It's a very good tactic for getting information and maybe even getting a first blood. Obviously, another good spot is coming bottom greenhouse. You can see the doorway from here. You can see if someone crosses the bomb. And if that guy on bomb decides to peek out or challenge, it's a pretty easy snipe to hit. All right, now for top broken. Top broken is a little bit bad just because that top AC guy has a better advantage than you. Like, like I said earlier, if unless some guy comes here, comes to the right and helps you challenge the guy top AC, usually coming up here is a bad idea. But I'm going to give you a good way to challenge top AC with a sniper. Or maybe it would even an AR. But I would really recommend sniper. And I would recommend you to run cold blood. So usually you beat the guy here. If when you want to come here, the guy is starting to come right there. So usually you beat him before he sees you. As soon as you usually you get here, what you want to do is you want to prone. Then you want to slide all the way here. And pretty much what you have here is like your own head glitch. And if you have cold blooded, it's so hard for him to see you that usually you get that kill most of the time. Because if you're up here like this challenging, you don't have a head glitch. You barely have any cover. He has a clear shot on you. And what I was talking about the spot right here, if you come all the way to his right AC, you can even back up like this in this corner. You can see the head glitch right here if someone's crossing or trying to come middle. You can see bottom lab. And then you can also see the guy top AC. And you have a pretty good clear shot for all three. You have so much map control coming into the spot. And now for the final spot, it's back A. The reason I like this spot so much is because you can see pretty much the A cross. You can see the if they're wall running. And the reason I like using a sniper is because if you stay, let's say you stay scoped in like this. Even if you yourself, your eyes, doesn't catch like a little glimpse of someone moving or wall running or crossing A, your sniper will because the thermal will catch that little red infrared and you'll be like, oh, that's him. So it's a really good way of just spotting people and playing safe at A. And you can even hop up like this most of the time. They won't really spot you because you're so back up in the corner behind a sign. Okay, guys, now we're going to go on to the next thing, which is spots. I'm going to be showing you guys spots around the whole map. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible. Obviously, this map is pretty big, and there's a lot of corners and shit, so I'm going to try to get as much spots covered as possible, like I said. And I'm going to show you a quick little cool thing. If you guys did not know, you can actually go under the staircase right here. It's a little cool trick, and you, yes, you can shoot through this. You know, you're like Mr. I don't even know what to call. You're just a fucking ninja. And then to get off, get away, it's, just, it's pretty much the same thing. You don't even need a wall or anything. You can just boost off. It's a cool little thing. In the lighting room, there's like three spots. Some are useful, some aren't. The only two useful spots I see is this one right here. You jump in this corner. And you can watch the entrance, and you can kind of watch your back. And then also you can just sit here. You can just push up to the pole, watch someone come in, watch your back. This is You can jump on top of this trash can, but I don't really see you using this spot. 
in reality unless you like watch it flank or something another good spot is right here at this ledge pretty much you're in the head glitch you can see top greenhouse you can see some of the wall runs it's really good especially if you have an ar because you can easily map these people a good spot is right here as well top of these seeds or whatever you want to call them you can watch the front of the bomb you're in a very good spot already pre-aiming but the only thing is a lot of people expect this by now they just come in they pre-aim this and kill you what i really 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 recommend is you dropping down and coming to this spot actually this corner you can kind of strafe it you usually kill a guy trying to cross every single time and then you want to have someone watch the bomb site now bottom green house is a couple spots you can jump on top of this green seeds as well just kind of sit here it's a very good spot obviously you're high up another good spot is right here on top of these barrels you can watch the front it's a very good head glitch you're really hidden another spot that i've been using and i think it's very underrated is this spot right here because you're pretty hidden and you can just watch your front. Obviously, it's not the best spot. Some people even like to sit right here in this kind of pre the bottom greenhouse. They can't really see, get seen from bottom, like B bomb or anything. So it's a very good, pretty good spot. I guess ball is right here, bottom broken. You can sit on top of this corner, pretty much see both angles and see your front. So wherever they come from, you're gunning them. Now, top broken, there's two good spots I use frequently. I think they're very solid. What you can do is sit on this carpet. It's like a, or this like pole carpet. You kind of go inside the carpet, I guess. And it's like a semi head glitch and people don't really expect you to be in that corner when they go top broken they look like this so you see on my screen i can't see that right side so people don't usually go like this and another good spot you can do is go on top of this boxes right here sit in this corner people jump right up you can kill them and people just walk right past you you can kill them so in this hut there's a couple spots now you can jump on top of this watch the front you can jump you can go in this corner watch the front you can even jump on top of this barrel right here watch your front i'm gonna show you kind of like a glitch spot what you want to do is come right here you want to boost no you want to use your full boost my bad and you see you're on you're floating in midair you're floating you can even crouch and kind of put you on top of the trash can and you can kind of watch your front side people don't really check this corner you can even go a little bit more forward but this spot's a little bit more nerdy don't tell anybody except you know only only my only the people support me no baby and then this is also a little trick I like to do. The only issue is, I'm explaining right now, but let me show you guys. So you go around this corner. It's a pretty big corner. You go in this corner. You kind of look to your right, and you put your gun down. They can't really see you. Uh, if you're, Unless you're like this, and you have your gun poking. And as long as you do this, it's very hard to see you. And people walk right in. They run right past you, and you kill them every single time. The only time, though, usually you get picked or is when someone goes up there if someone goes top ac and not even if they go up here you're fine if they go all the way to the right and they start looking down the middle there's a huge chance they'll see you start shooting at you if they push you right away there's a chance you might lose a gunfire or you can just try to run if they start shooting you now obviously these four acs are your best friend and the one right there i already showed you guys a little bit about that right side you can jump top here watch your wall run and watch pretty much the whole middle and then vice versa for this side other than i mean you could sit in this this is not really a head i don't know i don't really use this spot this spot's pretty trash you can just go right here, jump on top. You can see the mid hut. You can see the bottom broken, top broken, wall run. It's a very good spot. And then you can go to the left here. Same concept pretty much. You can jump on top of here, see everything. If you want to be a little bit more hidden, you can pretty much see the A-bomb cross and just sit in this corner. So now bottom lab, there's a couple cool spots. You can obviously sit right here. A really G spot that a lot of people know. Now, I, I wouldn't say a lot of people know now. Is you can actually jump into this corner and watch them push you. They won't even see you. You're in a very, very, very hidden spot. And you got this fucking light blinding you, but... It's a very good spot pretty much people just run in straight like this so basically you just jump in this corner it's a very simple thing you can obviously sit on top of this corner as well you can sit on top of this corner there's so many corners on this map that's what i was telling you there's a whole bunch of spots you can sit on top of this thing right here my bad and just watch your bottom top ac a good spot is right here you jump on top of this watch them come up easy kills another thing you could do is come inside the room best corner is right here best corner ever you can see people run right past you. Another good spot I like to use, and it works so well when it comes to watching flank. Let's say you want to watch flank. There's actually two spots I'm going to show you right now. Let's say you want to watch flank. If people are coming, you know they're coming. They're just going to rush straight through. What you can do is actually come inside these clouches. You jump up. You don't want to just be normal because you're still kind of out in the open. You want to jump up in this corner and then, and then crouch. And literally, people will run right past you. Free kills. And another good tricky but underrated spot is right here. And the reason people fail at it sometimes is because they try to like jump on it and auto mantle. You don't, you see like it's messing me up. What you want to do is simply use your full boost and just like hug the corner. Like always do that. Like don't try to just do half your boost or something super like that. Use your full boost and just hug the corner. 
and it will get you right on top and people run right past you another good spot also when it comes to watching flying people like to run right past here they don't always check their corners but even if they do you have for shot so instead of just sitting in this corner if you want a little bit more coverage you can jump on top of this like i guess a barrel and you kind of watch right in front of you and people just come through you go like this you can even see them crossing through this gap right here you see them cross boom you already get for shot a spot you can use as well is this barrel right here if you want to sit back a i showed you guys that spot earlier you can obviously push up a little bit sit like right here it's a good spot as well but if you want to sit a little bit more back play a little bit more safe what you can do is simply you see this yellow barrel right here you simply crouch you want to get a little bit close to it but not too close you can see the entrance or if people run out to a like outside the building like right there and you can watch your right you pretty much have both things covered and you just stay alive another good spot is right here on top of this ac if you want to back up and play even more safe you can sit back here, head glitch is a wall, and it's a very good spot. Obviously, dominant, you're an insane head glitch, and you're just watching in front of you. All right, another cool trick, if you didn't know, you can actually see through this, uh, through these holes. So, it's really good if you get bombed down, and you're trying to see if the guy's on the bomb or not. And you can even jump, obviously, really high like I did right here, and watch the bomb. It's a really cool trick for the people who did not know you can do that. Another good corner is right here, because people usually, they don't expect you to be there, right? Like, they expect you to be back here. If you're not in a the palace, they expect you to be somewhere else. They don't expect you to be in this random ass corner. So it's very hidden. You can pretty much hear inside a pallet. It's a very good spot. You can even push up a little bit. And all you gotta do is watch your front. It's a very good secret spot. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys some stuff if you didn't know as well. You can wall run this. Now, this is pretty obvious. Everyone knows, but you can also wall run this wall. Some people didn't know that you, that you can wall run this wall right here. And then obviously, you're gonna wall run behind this wall. Now, that's something a lot of people didn't find out until, until later on. You can actually wall run behind this whole wall. It's a very good tactic, you know, when it comes to being a little bit different. Also, how people like to wall run this left wall right here. It's nothing, right? People do that stuff. But you can actually wall run the A side too. It's, a, it's something I like doing sometimes when I want to be uh, aggressive and rush. You can wall run this A side. It's obviously a little bit better in a sense because people don't really expect that you jump up here. Look, you're already in their side. Someone calls off type AC. Boom, you kill that guy. Another cool thing I'm going to show you guys. I learned this recently about a month ago. So... Retaking B bombs is a hard thing, right? Because they're usually all posted up once they plant it. And it's hard to like kind of push up here. But a good way to do it, and I'm pretty sure not all of you know this, only a few of you do, is you can wall run this wall right here. So what you want to do is you want to wall, wall, wall run low, then want to wall, wall run this wall, and then you basically just jump up here and start fucking shit up. <laughs> the reason it's so good as well is because if someone's like even head glitching a bomb, sometimes people don't even head glitch a bomb, right? They sit back, look at this. You can't see that low wall run. You can't. Like, there's no way. Like, I'm looking as far. Like, I'm going to be right here. And you guys see from this side, so you can't see it. You can't see it from the bomb side either. I'm too low right there. And you just can't see it from anywhere. So, as long as someone's, like, not on you or, like, looking at this, you know, usually you can do a play, maybe even get a kill or two. All right, guys. So, now I'm going to show you some bomb spots really quickly before I go. So, B-bomb. Obviously, a very wide open bomb. Usually, at all times, you want to plant it this side. Best place to plant it, especially if you don't only get a kill you know, there's always going to be a guy on their side or they can just push up and pick you off too quick. So you always want to plan at this side. Nothing really special about this side. Just control your spawn and make sure you guys are calling out, communicating. You can check the bomb very easily from there or even from inside the building. You know, it's very easy to check that bomb. Now, let's say you get a kill or two on their side and your team wants to push up. Obviously, planning on this side is the best bet. And it's so good because you can watch it from so many places. You can obviously watch it from here all the way back top greenhouse. You know, you can be so far away. And easily snipe that kid off the bomb. Bottom greenhouse is obviously a very good spot as well. You can use the spot I showed you. Sit right here. Watch here. You can even go into this corner instead. And you're pretty much in the leaves. Watch the bomb. It's a very, very, very good spot. And then obviously, like I said, you can watch it from almost anywhere. From here. From here. So, planning it in here is a good, good, good thing. Now, for A-bomb, there isn't much. But you can obviously pan it on the front side. Very good spot when having palace control because you can watch it from almost anywhere in palace, right? You can see it from anywhere, and you can use the spot I was showing you. You can just jump up, see through the cracks. If you want to be a little bit more out there and make sure there's no one on there, you can jump all the way through. Make sure you use your full boost so you can see the guy up there. Now, planning in the front, it's obviously a little bit risky. You better make sure you have mid control, but planning in the front is one of the easiest things because you can obviously see from whole middle. Spots you can use that are really effective are right here. You can easily just camp this corner like this. Check bomb. No one on bomb. You can do the same thing vice versa on that AC side. So it's a very good way of, you know, killing them off bomb. It's very clutch, very easy. 
if you don't have palace control the only issue is like i said make sure while planning there's no one middle because then you're just gonna die very quickly now one thing before i go planning on a is such a good thing because it's so easy to wrap so for example i do this a lot and it works every time let's say you have three in palace right it's 4v4 you have three in palace or maybe it's a 4v3 you guys have an upper hand and they're coming the middle they're flooding there's no one really coming left they're all trying to cut middle and our spawn and you know a good really good place i do is i always push out the spawn not always but most of the time i push out the spawn i flank right away these people are all distracting like three four guys in the middle and then i always get a kill or two from the back like it works every single time pinching and flanking this bomb is good even like in a 2v2 situation let's say your teammate is making sure he's not on bomb he's, you, you, he's trying to stay alive and just 20 seconds left you're flanking around you know at this point it's game over like you can easily check bomb from flanking around all you have to do is go this side right here go on top of the ledge and you can see the whole bomb front or back so it's a very good thing away or way of playing either way guys i hope you enjoyed today's video today's video is a little bit more informative i think i showed you guys a lot of cool spots uh thumbs up if you really enjoyed it if you learned a thing or two i'm really trying to just teach you guys and help you guys out a lot of you guys know this you know i'm always here for you guys you know i'm just happy i could do breach the only two maps left are Hunted and Evac. And those maps, I might do it soon. Let's see how this video does first. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy Apti, and I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.